Disclaimer, this finna get real Renny on the Detroit Pistons. If you don't want to hear it, you got five seconds to get the fuck up out of here. Five, four, three, two, oh fucking well. Let me tell y'all something, man. The Detroit Pistons have pissed me off real badly. I've been trying to be patient with them, understanding what situation we in, the rebuild situation we are in, and trying to develop the talent. But these dudes go come out Sunday and announce that they had decided to trade for Bobo. Now, that's fine. And then it finds out today I wake up, he has a physical. I'm fine with that. He failed the physical. I'm fine with you failing the physical. Why? Because sometimes this stuff can't be helped. The problem I have, why is the fuck did you hurry up and rush this announcement without taking care of all that first? See, if you'd have sat here and, and, and said the Pistons are trying to acquire him and waiting on the physical in return, then we could say, is it going to happen or not? And then if he fell, okay, it just didn't work out. Don't announce it that it has been like the move was done already and then turn around and say, oh, is he failed his physical and now the move ain't going down. Right the day before we thought we was going to see him. This is the issue I got with our front office. They're not a bad front office. They're not necessarily a good front office. They're inconsistent front office. They do some things right. They do some things good. I, I'm so they do some things bad. I mean, I'm so sick of the shit, bro. And then you already got the coaching staff as ass out here, man. I'm so sick of this shit, bro. Like the way we mishandle our young talent, the 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 fact that we out here with the only team out here without a goddamn center. Anybody that's close to being an athletic big is beyond me. We out here with Trey Lyles, bro, a role, a backup role player. Not a role player, but a, a third-string backup role player trying to stand a start for us as our starting five. This, we the only team that do that bullshit. I will fuck a raw rebuild. That's just unnecessary, bro. We the only fucking franchise that do this type of dumb shit. Every time I look up, we always around here with somebody that we don't need to be in places they in. And it, it, it makes me sick that the young players that you built, that you drafted, are the ones to me to suffer the most for this shit. You made Sadiq Bay start off slow. You're fucking mishandling Killian Hayes and doing him doggish. And then K Cunningham, yeah, okay, fine. He gets to be the star. But him but still, what, what what's the point? What is he what is he being the leader of? A bunch of trash? You out here overplaying people giving them way on this like I don't understand how you could keep Corey Joseph as the point guard I know he had a good game the other day but well not last game when they got blew up at the end of 50 <laughs> but I'm saying I understand <laughs> he's a veteran I get all that but you out here letting him run the point guard run the floor like he's a the top five point guard in the league or something this dude trips and falls he make mistakes left and right and pass up on open shooters that can knock the shot down but you Killian Hayes do one little thing wrong and you sitting here punishing him. I don't understand why we develop our talent like this. It's so backwards. We hard on the young guys for no reason and then when they leave us they flourish elsewhere and we wonder why. We wonder why we do this shit all the time. Or why, and then if they don't give a chance then we want to act like they wasn't good. Like no it wasn't them. It was the fucking Pistons not handling their fucking business. That's why it's always like that with them. <laughs> I'm so sick of this inconsistency so much bro. Why'd you even announce this shit if you didn't even know if he was going to pass the physical or not? Let them pass their physicals first before you announce that you made a move. That way you don't have to worry about you didn't know this. And then you up here begging and trying to make sure the relationship stay with you and Magruder like he's some fucking great player or something. Like, man, what the fuck is this shit, bro? Can't handle this bullshit no more. I already got the fucking Lions doing this. See, they ain't never want shit in their lifetime. We out here with Ho Hulk and that head coach already. We got to deal with that. <clears throat> nah, this old man that's supposed to know better still making rookie coach mistakes. It don't make no sense. <clears throat> it don't make no fucking sense, bro. I'm so sick and tired of this shit. I, I'm tired of this fucking garbage, bro. I've been putting up too much dealing with the moron fan base for the last few years. Then the dumbass front office not helping my case at all. They do stupid. They gave this fan all they want, this whole rebuild, and y'all still doing everything wrong. I don't understand. You don't. You, why did we give up Dennis Smith Jr.? If we talk about developing and Killian Hayes should come off the bench to get less so his skill set can develop, why not? Can, why why did why didn't we keep a guy we could start? <laughs> I was perfectly fine with a guy like Dennis Smith Jr. starting this decade. Why? Because Dennis Smith Jr. going to attack the basket. He go he go pick. He going to be at a pick. He can fit the pick and roll system. He can defend. He can pass. He can dunk. He can every now and then get a jump shot off. 
He was playing very well when I last seen him. When he played against us, he was kicking our ass. Oh, but we can't. We don't do that here. We want to get Corey Joseph and then there make him a starter at times and make him the guy. That's what we do. Now, Corey Joseph, when he playing more off ball and he asks just to shoot and maybe try to hit the rim here and there or to lay up or something, he do just fine because we already know he ain't offering no defense. But when you out here trying to push him at point guard and I'm watching him slip and fall like one of those non-athletic big men we used to have all the time, like Zaza and shit, that, don't, that, that shit ain't cool to watch, man. But I know we could be moving the ball fluently with Killian Hayes. That sucks. This sucks, man. This shit is hard to watch. These guys, this damn coaching staff in this front office had time makes me question my fandom. They do. They make me question why I'm a fucking fan sometimes. I love this team. Man. I love all my teams, but this shit is annoying, bro. Ain't no way in hell you asking me to continuously sit here and take this bullshit. Ain't no way in hell y'all just don't know how to do y'all jobs properly. Okay, I understand the fit. I can't blame the failed physical. Okay, fine. But you could have did all this before. You could have made sure all this was taken care of and then announced a week afterwards, like, hey, we get, we just traded for Bobo and, and surprised us. Don't get our hopes up. You knew this damn city was going to turn up when we got Bobo just like we turned up when we won K Cunningham when we had the number one pick. You, you knew. Y'all hear us. Y'all hear us and y'all don't respond to us for some reason. And that's what the part they assess me the most. That's the part that really upsets me the most. You don't do nothing for us when you, when, 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 when we beg you. <laughs> oh, my God, boy, I tell you. When we beg you, you don't do nothing for us. Then we out here. Now we back at square one. Shit, we feel like square zero. Man, come on, bro. I, I had enough of this shit. I really had had enough. I'm trying to keep my calm and keep composure for I was lose my fucking mind. But this is just how I feel right now. This is how I fucking feel. This is the, like I said. I had to come on here and rant for a minute, bro, because this shit is crazy. Ain't no way in hell. Now we back square one. Now what we supposed to do? I thought I heard. I think I heard Cam Reddish just got traded. Well, can't throw our hat in that one. Thanks a lot. I, I'm starting one the way in case he fired. Two, just just for the record, I, I, I'm really starting to want him fired. I don't care about all star, but I don't care about his, his tanking. When you're not coaching right, when you're not making the right moves, when you are on the court and you you putting your team out there with this young and youthful, and you want the youngest rosters, but you got them looking like one of the oldest rosters because you suck the life out of them with your scheme and how you putting people in certain places until they don't look confident anymore. I have a problem with you as a coach. And I don't give a fuck of who disagree. I'm out of this bitch.